like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds or he will be in your bed tonight. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. So, as you guys know, 2 weeks ago I uploaded the Rukat Kane 100 review video, and that video did really well. 50,000 views man, like jeez. So, after that video, a lot of people got the Rukat Kane 100, and many people are asking me how do you drag click on it, the best software setting, what are your tips and tricks. So I'll also be showing you some stuff that you should not do on the KN100 that a lot of people do. As well, I'll be covering the best software settings, how to drag click on it, which finger is needed to drag click on it, long drag and short drag sweet spots, some tips and tricks that can possibly help you out. But before we get into this video, I would just like to say thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. Like man, I never ever thought we would ever hit 4,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. I love you guys. You still subscribe and like or else uh, that will not be good. But yeah, join my Discord server too. If you would just want to come and say hi. Are you, are you, did you just say you're not subscribed to Flowways? Did you literally just say that? This is what's going to happen to you. This is a lesson for all of you. Whoever, who, when you guys don't subscribe, you die, you, you die. This is exactly what happens to you. <laughs> Only subscribing is the answer. <laughs> And I'm going to be showing you how to get the Rokat Cone uh, software settings and the best settings for it. So first one to do is you want to open your Chrome browser. You want to click on, you want to type in Rokat Cone Swarm. You want to type the exact same thing that I wrote right here. And uh, I'll also have this in the link in the description below. So make sure to check that out. But other than that, you just want to type that in. And you're gonna be here. You want to click on drivers and support Rock Rockat, and click on this. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on you want to click on download for this. And this is how you get the Rockat Kane 100 Amo software settings. Uh, once you've clicked, I already have this downloaded, so I don't have to download this. But you want to click download and follow the instructions and get the software. But once you have the software done, you can go to your search bar right here and just type in Rockat Swarm and it should be like this it should have like these honeycomb like it, it should have bluish like shapes here you want to click on open so this is the software and this is where all the magic happens settings and the advanced settings are the most important sections in the Eurocat Kane's 100 swarm what you want to do first is you want to go down to double click speed now i don't know about this people say that this is a debounce time timer but if you really want to like if you really think that's the case then have this at one as your lowest debounce time. So have this at one and yeah, just keep this at one. But um, this might not make a big difference, but it's always better to have this at one. Um, Windows pointer speed. Now this is the acceleration of your mouse. So whenever I like suddenly move, it's how fast it accelerates. So that's my pointer speed. So I have this at zero because I don't want my mouse to be accelerating too much or too low. So I just keep it at zero. So winner pointer speed should be at zero, and double click speed should be at one. Uh, and then the rest, then the rest of these are all your personal preference, like the DPI, the vertical scroll speed, tilt speed. But yeah, and then we're gonna be going to advanced settings, and we're gonna be having your zero debounce on. Now this is the most important. You need to have your zero debounce on. This really helps you out. When you're drag clicking, it makes your mouse it makes your mouse very sensitive. So keep this on; it is really useful. And then we have pulling rate here. Keep I I have mine at 1,000 hertz. Pulling rate is how fast your mouse sends signals back to your computer. So have this at 1,000. You should have this on. And have I personally like angle snapping on because angle snapping basically predicts your movement before you do anything. So. If I'm about to move my mouse, it will like predict my movement, where I'm about to go. So you always get the most accurate response time. So I would keep this on. 
so yeah that's pretty much it there's nothing really crazy in the software settings um so what you really need to do, change is the angle snapping the zero debalance the pulling rate double click speed and winner's pointer speed yeah that's pretty much it the rest is all your personal preference you can choose anything you like the button the, the lights but once you're done you can just click apply your mouse will have a weird flash that's completely okay and there that's the set that's the software settings I would highly recommend not putting any tape on the Kane 100. The texture of this mouse is already sticky, and if you put tape over it, it will absorb the it will absorb the stickiness. And what will happen is that too much stickiness on the mouse will probably ruin it. The Kane 100 is already sticky, so it's better to just straight click without tape, and it will really work. I don't know what they've coated this in, but it's very sticky, and it'll work without tape. But don't, do not put any tape. One precaution is that if you really want to clean your mouse, use water and a paper, a paper towel and water, and that's how you can clean it easily. Do not ever use alcohol on your mouse. I don't know which person in the world uses alcohol, but alcohol will literally destroy your mouse. I do not suggest using it. It would burn the texture off the mouse and ruin the paint. So please do not put alcohol in your mouse. Use water. I don't know which person said that you use alcohol. That person has misinformed people. Use water instead. Alcohol is a horrible way of cleaning your mouse. So you just got your mouse in the package and you're expecting a drag click 4D plus CPS right out of the box. Listen, when you first got your mouse, you need to make sure that you beaten up the switches. The more longer you use the mouse, the more easier it'll be to click. So when I got my mouse, I butterflied on it a lot. Like I butterflied on it a lot. And I broke it. Basically, you gotta beat it. You gotta beat it. Oh, sorry, I spanked my mouse. You don't wanna do that, okay? The more longer you use it, the more helpful the mouse will be. No, I'm not asking to smash it against the desk. I'm asking you to just butterfly click on it or drags, just drags on it will literally help the switches loosen up. When you first get the mouse, the switches are all like tightened up. When you beat them up like this, the switches loosen up and that's how you can increase your CPS over time. So for this part of the video, I'm gonna be talking about the type of finger you want, like which finger you wanna use for drag clicking on this Rookat K100. K100 is a bit weird when it comes to choosing your finger because I used to drag click with my middle finger and for some reason, I don't get as much CPS with my middle finger anymore, which is really weird why. Uh, so what I did, so I only get like 20 plus CPS, like 25-ish, 20 CPS. So then I tried to use my pointer finger. And with my pointer finger, I could get like almost 40, like consistently 40. So as you guys can see, I'm getting way, see I just got 40 there. So I feel like with my with my pointer finger, I can drag click a whole lot better, and that's what I do. So you want to try out between both of the fingers and see which one gives you the most CPS. So try between the middle finger and the pointer finger and see which one gives you the most CPS. Whichever does, use that finger, and see, as you can see, it's really useful. See, I, I, I can kind of tell you, but don't bully me, please. Alright, so you're probably wondering, where is the sweet spot of the Rokat Kane 100? Which area on this mouse gives you the most CPS for long drag and short drag? So, from what I've personally seen, my sweet spot might not be the same for all of you, but from what I've seen, for short drag, the best area to drag click in is after this area, like right up here. It's like the best area to drag click. Do not short drag up here, you want to try to do it in the corners and the sides but a bit after the scroll wheel so you just want to try to do it up here as much as possible in your short dragging like see i'm like in this area so i am near this area like up here and it really works best try not to go all the way in that corner or really in the sharp just try to drag click up here for short drags and let's see how much cps it gives so me doing it up here in these areas let's see how much cps i get So now you want to know the sweet spot for the long drags on your Kane 100. So personally, from where I've seen, I get the most CPS is the sides. The sides are the most 
I don't know why it's always the sides, but the more longer you, if you start from the beginning, like the way beginning, and drag all the way to the front, you get the most CPS that way. If, uh, if I suppose if I start like near here and then start dragging, I won't get like 40 CPS because I didn't use the whole mouse. For drag clicking so i see the sides are really useful do not try to do not try to go here as much the sides in the middle middle area are really good it's the same for this mouse the sides here the sides here so yeah try out the sides they they really work out for me and remember each mouse is different so try and see where do you get the most long short sweet spot but for me i get most cps near the sides Another really important thing to remember is that for long dragging, you want to always use the pad. So if I'm gonna long drag, I'm gonna use the pad of my finger, the pad, a full pad of the finger. So if I try, I'm gonna use the pad. See, as you can see, pad really does help. I see I just got 40 there. So use the pad for long dragging. You don't wanna use the tip for long dragging. If I use the tip, this is what it's gonna look like. See, as you can see, I'm not getting 40 CPS anymore, or 35, or yeah. So for long dragging, you want to always use the pad for long dragging, and for short dragging, you want to use the tip. So keep that in mind. Long dragging is the pad, and short dragging is the tip. You can't use your pad for short dragging, that won't work either. So remember, you just want to remember that, and that's how it works. Alright guys, so now once you know how to, the best software settings, the tip for short drag, uh, pad for long drag, um, the sweet spots, the best software settings, etc. Now you can actually long, now you can actually drag click on this mouse. So I'm gonna be first starting off with long dragging and then I'm gonna be moving my way up. So for long dragging, personally what I do is I have, I use my, you want, what you wanna do is you wanna use the pinky and your left and your right ring finger and you just wanna put those on the sides for a good grip. And then you wanna use your thumb here and that's how you get a good grip on your mouse. So now I got two of these fingers free up here and I'm gonna use my pointer. So as you can see, I have a good grip on my mouse and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to get the most CPS out of your mouse. You always want to start in the left little corner and make your way all the way down to the front here, and that's how you can get the most CPS out of your mouse. So if I try, as you can see, 40 CPS, 45 there, 47 there. So what I'm doing is I'm not pushing way too hard on the mouse. You don't want to like aggressively push the mouse or else your finger's just going to be flat. You, you want to be a little bit like, you want to put a decent amount, not too much. And you want to push to the front of the mouse. Make sure you're using the sides and that you have a good grip on the mouse. And make sure to be using the pad. And you can just like, just put, start here. And as soon as you start making your way down, you, all, you also want to raise your hand. As you can see. When I'm down here, I have my hand flat on the table with my arm flexible in a good position. And then you start here. And then as soon as you make your way down, you want to raise your hand slowly so your finger can drag off the mouse. You don't want to just do that like or this. You want to just drag slowly and you have your hand going down slow. So that's how you drag click. You don't want to just do this. So it's pretty simple. There's nothing really crazy. And yeah, that's how you can long drag on this mouse. So it's the same thing for short dragging. Short dragging is basically, it's like, it's like long dragging, but it's a little mini version of long dragging. And that's how you can short drag. So basically the way I do it is I, just drop my finger on the mouse. So if you just want to learn how to just drop it on your drop it on your mouse like this. And 
And as you can see, every time I drop my finger, I do a little drag whenever I drop it. And that's exactly how it happens. So what long dragging is, it's just a, it's like a short, you start doing that really fast. And that's how you short drag. You start doing that really fast. And that's called short dragging. So what you wanna do is you want to just drop your finger and you wanna use the sides as much as possible. The sides are the most helpful part and use the tip of your finger. And remember, do it in this little area where the sweet spot is. And that's where you drop. You just you don't wanna just drop it like this. No, you want to, whenever you drop, you wanna do a little drag. And you start doing that really fast and that's how you get CPS. And there, as you, as simple as that, that's how you do it. There's nothing really crazy about it. So you start doing that, that's how you do it. You start doing that really fast and I use the sides up here to help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys learned something new from the video make sure to subscribe and like uh, that's my key to motivation and i love making content for you guys but without further ado make sure to join my discord if you have any thoughts or concerns the way to drag click on the k100 is you just need effort and patience and you will get 40 cps consistently uh one thing to remember is that if you want to i'm always active on my discord server and i'm always talking in chat and you know you should just join the community bro okay also this is my hypixel username I just want to say hi this if you ever see me just say hi to me or else i'm gonna be lonely sorry if i haven't been streaming like i said i would school is almost over tomorrow's the last day of a school till winter break starts so i might get some streams going soon uh let me know if you guys would want to see streams i'm afraid that like if i start streaming i only have like one viewer so I don't know, like, uh, let me know if you guys want to see streams, because I really want to stream after winter break starts. But yeah, without further ado, uh, I hope you guys have a great day and peace out.